right, get cozy. We are going to be journaling. We are going to be experiencing. We're going to be feeling. I'm going to lead you through a really powerful journey of journaling and reflecting and also getting clear on what it is that you're creating next year. This is so important for just owning our lives and also for if you want to manifest, if you want to create the life of your dreams, it takes this reflective time. And I'm so grateful for you in this channel because as much as I create these sort of experiences for other people, I don't always do it myself or I don't always prioritize doing more formal journaling like this. And today I am actually going to be journaling with you together and how this will work is i'm going to be giving you prompts i will also be playing music in between if a prompt if after a prompt i don't if after a prompt i don't give you enough time because i'm just going to give you as much time as i feel like i need but if you need more time just pause it there's no wrong way to do this so before we jump in i want to make sure that you have a space that feels cozy and supportive for this. I want to make sure that you have a notebook and a pen and really set yourself up for this to be a nourishing, supportive, relaxing experience. So whatever you need to do that, do that now. I have this little cozy blanket and I have this furry, fluffy cloud pillow and I have a lot of fluffy cloud pillows here. That's kind of what my whole living room looks like and I'm really glad to invite you into it. So get what you need. I have a cup of tea, tea, candles, all these things can really set the tone for you. Then once you are settled in, I want you to also just allow yourself first get comfortable and then take a couple of deep breaths just to let yourself land here. Because so whatever you were doing before this, you wanna just allow yourself to come into this moment, this space, so that you can really get the most out of it. So take a couple of nice inhale, exhale, slow, deep into the belly. Maybe you close your eyes, maybe you roll your shoulders. Good. Okay, let's get started. So getting your pen and paper, or maybe you have a notebook or a journal, I really like it to be analog. I, when we do things digitally, one, they can, there can be notifications and distractions, and actually our brains process writing physically differently than we process writing, uh, typing into a computer. So, get out your pen and paper. And I'm gonna lead you through some prompts here. The first part we're gonna do is reflective. We're gonna reflect on this past year so that you can really kind of dig in and get the most out of what you've learned, what you've experienced. Then I'm gonna lead you in a meditation, super short, but what it's going to do is it's going to help you to tune into what it is that you wanna create, not just tune into it mentally, but really feel it. And that's where all the wisdom drops in and I'm so excited for you to experience it. And then from there, you're going to take that and journal on that in with the different prompts that I give you. And that's going to help you to feel clear and grounded on where you're headed in the new year. Okay, so the very first prompt that I have for you is what are you most proud of yourself for from this past year. just offer that this can be a stream of consciousness this can be bullet points this doesn't have to be big things it can be accomplishments but it can also be just like ways of being ways that you maybe overcame some sort of like mental block that you had around something or maybe you've started a new habit or maybe you quit a habit that you didn't want to have anymore what are you most proud of yourself for 
writing that down. Okay, so prompt number two is what were your favorite experiences from the past year? What were the highlights? There was a highlight reel. If you were putting together a reel for Instagram, now if there was a highlight reel, what would be the top highlights, the really amazing experiences from this past year? time, more time on any of these, just pause me. You can come back. Question number three is what was your goal from the beginning of the year? If you had one, or what was your vision for the year? What did you want the year to look like? Writing that down. And then assessing for yourself, but here's what's really important. This is all without judgment. We are like scientists. We're putting on our lab coats and whatever we find is an amazing discovery because it's the truth. So I want you to just think about when you think about what you really wanted at the beginning of the year and where you are now, how closely do those match up? And it may be that you totally hit your goal or surpassed it. It may be that you didn't. It may be that you didn't because life changed and something else is different now. So there's no judgment around any of it because even if you didn't hit it because of something you didn't or didn't do, we're gonna get into the juicy goodness of that so that you get to learn from it for next year. So no judgment, but just how did you do towards that goal? How does what your life look like now compared to what you were hoping it would look like?
why or why not? So what either helped you in accomplishing what you wanted to accomplish and or what may have held you back? And for some support around what this could look like, it could be that there were habits and routines that either contributed to your success or habits and routines that you didn't have and so that contributed to you it contributed to your success, or maybe there were some habits that got in the way of what you were wanting to accomplish. So just writing that down for yourself so that you're really clear on what works and what doesn't work. So what worked, what didn't work for you? And then the last question in the reflection portion is, what are you most grateful to yourself for from the past year? What are you grateful to yourself for? If you can't think of anything, maybe it's just playing this video and doing these journaling prompts because you're creating a shift for yourself now. But I bet you can think of some other ones too. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I want to invite you into forgiving yourself for anything you want to forgive yourself for from the past year. This is an opportunity for you to let go. We want to create this clean slate, this fertile ground for you to create whatever it is that you want next year. And in order for you to really do that, we've got to let go of any judgments that might be coming up, any judgments around where you should be or how you should have acted or any of this stuff. We're gonna let that go because we're, we're mining the gold from it. You're getting the actionable parts and we're letting go of the judgment. So take a moment right now for your forgiveness. Whatever it is, you wanna forgive yourself for judging yourself for right now. So I forgive myself for judging myself for not hitting that goal, for not doing that thing, for whatever it is, letting it go right now in this moment together. Let's all let it go. What do you forgive yourself for?
we went through the first portion of reflection. Good job. Now I'm going to lead you through a brief meditation and then we're going to move on to what you're creating and manifesting for next year. So make yourself comfortable. Find a spot where you can sit for, this is super short. It's not going to take a long time, but just give yourself a moment to adjust. If you want, this is a perfect time before the meditation. If you need to take a quick break, go to the bathroom, whatever you need to do, and then settle in, get comfortable. Take a couple of deep breaths, roll your shoulders back if you want to. We're gonna settle into this meditation together. Closing your eyes when you're ready. Breathing in deeply into your belly. Sighing it out through your mouth. Good, do it again. Breathing in deeply. Sighing it out. Letting go of all of it. There's nowhere else you need to go. There's no one else you need to be. You are here right now. And we're gonna take a little trip. We're gonna get into a time machine and we are zapping ourselves all the way forward to the end of 2024. When you step off of that time machine, you get to see yourself celebrating the future you, one year older, one year wiser, one year brighter, and you see them celebrating the most incredible year. They're saying, this was the most incredible year of my life. Listen to them, listen to why. Why was this the most incredible year for them? What did they get to experience? Who did they get to be this year? seeing them lit up by it, see how they hold themselves, see how they dress themselves, taking them in, taking it all in, noticing what you feel in your own body as you see this version of you just so lit up. They seem so at ease and relaxed and just so ready to go for the next year. This is also an opportunity if you want to ask them for any wisdom, any wisdom they want to bestow upon you in this moment. And then when you're ready, say goodbye for now. Getting back on your time machine, coming back to this moment, taking a deep breath in, out, letting it go, this or something better. And then when you're ready, blinking your eyes open, gently coming back to this space and back to your journal where you're going to capture what was most important from that meditation. So that might be what were the experiences that really lit up future you the most? What were the things that made it the best year ever? Writing those down. And then sliding on to the next question from there, what's most important for you to create in 2024? What's your, what are your goals? What do you want to have happen in this next year?
Okay, here is where the real magic happens. When you think about that goal, the thing that you want to accomplish or things you want to accomplish, what are the characteristics of your future self or maybe other people who have accomplished that goal? What are some of the characteristics, the skills that you'll need to have to step into that reality? It's okay if you don't have them right now. That's why we're doing this. Because if you can identify the characteristics that will make it easier for you to step into it, the skills that will make it easier, then you'll be able to reverse engineer this and make it happen more easily for you. So identifying what are the skills and characteristics that you'll need to have in order to step into that. And once you have that, think about that version of you or another person who has accomplished that and digging a little bit deeper into the habits. What are the things that they do on a regular basis that would help them toward that goal or what are, and or what are the things that they don't do? Like what are their non-negotiables? What are things that they do? Maybe it's things that they do consistently around their health and healthy habits and maybe it's things that they don't do with that waste their time or get in the way of what it is that they want to create. So writing down what those non-negotiables might be, you don't have to commit to them for yourself right now, but just exploring what those might be. They might be things you want to either step into or let go of. Okay, once you have that, I want you to close your eyes one more time. I want you to close your eyes and imagine that you're back there at that 2024 New Year's Eve party where you have achieved all of it. It feels so good. Just imagining what that looks like, what that feels like in your body, and noticing the sensations that come with it. Maybe it's happiness, joy, ease, energy, excitement. What are those feelings? taking them in, really allowing them to be a blueprint for yourself. This is how we manifest. We bring in the feeling now before anything happens so that we know that we have this feeling and that actually helps us to get where we're going. Feeling this now, believing in yourself and your truth. And then the one last question I'm gonna ask you about this you can open your eyes and journal on this. What can you do to cultivate whatever that feeling was that you had? What are some things that help you to give you that feeling on a regular basis now? What are the things that help you to feel joy, expansion, energy? What are the practices that you could be doing to cultivate that now? because this is the backdoor shortcut to really stepping into what you want, to quantum leaping, manifesting, all of that. It's really about your ability to cultivate and step into the feeling now and to not buy into this belief that we can have that we only get to have that feeling as a result of the thing. When actually, if you can cultivate that feeling, you will get to that result more quickly.